we are discussing if babies can get anxious and stressed on the coffee group with the baby whisperer Dorothy Wade and chiropractor Dr. Adela Afez. Welcome back guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to have you here and nice to have baby Sammy over in the corner. Yeah, I know, isn't he cute? Yeah, but you, yeah, note to self, don't leave the baby. <laughs> on the top of the table. Exactly. That is not a good idea, okay? Never. Um, Adela, in your experience, can babies actually suffer anxiety? Well, babies are little people. So just like adults go through a range of emotions, so do babies. And babies actually, for the first few years of life, they're non-verbal communicators. Mm -hmm. So what they're picking up on is our energy our emotions and that's why they get stressed and they can get anxious too. Yeah and they definitely have their different kinds of cries. Um, Dorothy are you seeing stressed babies in your line of work? Absolutely because we've got two ways of parenting and the very strong one which is allowing our babies to get out is that babies shouldn't cry, babies should never cry but they have to because they talk to us. So because they're unable to express themselves because it's where you are and what you're doing when your baby is crying they're not expressing so therefore they're taking it inwardly therefore getting more stressed. And no one wants a stressed baby. No. Nope. So Adela, how can you tell when your baby is anxious or stressed? I talk about babies that appear to be distressed and the difference between a normal baby who's happy and then crying and then tired and then hungry as opposed to a baby who's constantly just grisly, grumpy, upset yep. and also they fail to thrive. So these are babies that don't put on weight or they were putting on weight and they stopped putting on weight. They're just unhappy most if not all of the time. Okay, so it's not just the normal, they're no, tired. It's, they have a it's not a normal range of emotions that they're going through. These are babies that parents are just like, they just don't seem happy. Yeah, they're just unsettled they're un constantly. Absolutely, you've mm. got it. So what are some solutions, Dorothy, baby whisperer? <laughs> What can we do? Okay, by taking time out, by, re by going parenting how you want to parent, listen to other people's advice, but the most crucial thing is to ensure you're doing it right. You can't spoil a baby, mm. and I've heard recently out on with a client that she's been told that if she touches a baby while they're going to sleep, that's bad. It's not. Mm -hmm. And when we're dealing with emotional stressed out mums that are getting this advice like that, and then inwardly they're wanting to parent another way, we've got that stress anxiety already. So the goal of someone like me is to ask you how you want to parent and support you through that. So swaddling's a great thing to help a stressed baby because you take them right back to that nice cocoon stage. The most important thing though is remember to keep those from the waist down, the hips and everything, they've got to be free. The old fashioned swaddling where you bring the swaddle up between the legs is, is not recommended. Okay, well we've got to look at a, a, a video that you've made here, isn't it? Tell me what you're doing here. I'm demonstrating the snow angel swaddle. It's one I kind of invented. And it's for the older babies who don't like to be unswaddled. But I find more and more nowadays that a lot of babies, newborns want to have their hands up here. So it gives them the flexibility. It's a looser swaddle. Um, but it also just gives them that security that they need. And it's, it's just using your muscle and cloth to the best advantage. Okay. So, so see how they, he can get his yep. arms, because it is a little boy, um, and he can get his arms. He's got all the freedom of the movement, but he's secure. Okay. What age should you stop swaddling a baby? 11 to 12 weeks when the startled reflex becomes a controlled movement. Mm -hmm. um, and the swaddling should be so that they can do little flexes within it as well. Okay. Do you want to whiz around here quickly Absolutely. and show us how to, do, how to do a quick swaddle on baby Sammy while you're doing that? Um, what else can we do to help soothe an anxious baby, Adela? There's three things I always recommend. So what you want to do is, first of all, find a practitioner, mm -hmm. preferably someone who's holistic in their approach, that can help you identify what's going on. Okay. Secondly, I, am, I will always look at mum. Does the mum need some help or support? Is mum stressed? Is mum stressed? Because babies are stressed because they pick it up from their yeah. parents. Um, can we support the mum with some supplementation? Has she got um, postnatal going on? Okay. Do we need to identify yep. that and help her with that? And then the three things I use all the time in my practice, chiropractic care, neuro-emotional technique or kinesiology, and lastly, access consciousness. Okay, so there are many ways. And look, in the meantime, Dorothy has swaddled baby Sam in a different way, but the most important thing, keep the legs free. Yes, so it's like a christening gown or a wedding gown. It's fl full flowing. Okay, and I'm sure you've got more videos online to show us how to do Absolutely, some Absolutely, I've got swaddling heats. I've got five videos online. Excellent. Hey, thank you both very much thank for coming you. in today. My oh, pleasure. Oh, I know, cute. Cute, isn't he? <laughs>